the car is uh, in manual slash sport mode. Now if we just turn off the engine without even putting it in park, or you can also just hit park. So I'm just gonna hit start stop engine button. Moves back on its own and puts it in park. A lot of people wonder what this auto H button does. What it is, is actually auto hold. Um, very helpful if you're at a stoplight. So for example, you're in drive, right every time you start driving, you have to press the button. And it tells you you have to wear a seat belt. I'll put the seat belt on, press auto H. Tells you that auto holds engaged. We are in drive. I'm gonna let go of the brake, completely not touching. The car is being held on its own. Now, if I just touch the gas, I touch the gas, car starts moving, we're off of the auto hold. Press the brake, the car is holding itself typically at a stoplight. Some other really cool features, you can close the trunk of the car by just walking up and giving it a kick underneath, just like that. We'll close. Now if you need to open it, you can do the same thing. The lights blink and the trunk opens. One other really cool feature that lots of BMWs have and some other luxury cars is if you put the mirror um, switch to the driver's side, you see that the mirror moves down so you can see the curb when you're backing up especially helpful if you're in the city. I'm gonna move the switch back. You can see it moves back. So if you leave it on the driver's side, every time you're in reverse, it will move down so you can see the road in the back. People like to fold their mirrors, but not everybody knows that if you accelerate to 25 miles an hour, they open up on their own don't have to manually do so. If you would like to see what your presets are, uh, which can actually be anything, doesn't just have to be radio, you just simply touch your finger, which will show you what's on there. So you can see my radio stations, as well as sport displays or trip computer. So you can just press, and then it's gonna take you, when well, the car's not started, so if we start the car and press, Sport displays or trip computer or sport displays go straight there. A lot of people like to have cameras or radar detectors or anything like that. You can usually plug those in in here or in the back, like I did. Or there's also a hidden power adapter in here. Just right there. So you can route your cable through the top, around the corner, around the A-pillar, all the way down underneath and to the socket over there.